y'all welcome back to my channel on behalf of Britt. if you're new here welcome i'm Brittany, and today we are doing another braider vlog i'm going to the hair store then i have a person later i'm gonna vlog her appointment um i'm gonna grab some hair from the hair store but i'm just going to do a quick weave this has to come out so i'm just gonna throw in a temporary style to get me over till next week when appointments slow back down so i want to run in the hair store and just find some affordable red hair i want to go burgundy other than going to the hair store to get the hair i really don't have a list of the newsletter let you know what's on sale for the month how you can save money and um what's coming into the store and they announced that btl which is a company called braids twist and locks they specialize in products for braiders or people who do twist and locks they have some new products coming into the store so i want to see what that's about <laughs> back from the store and beauty master was a bust i'm not gonna say it was a complete bust because i mainly went in there for the btl lunch and they did have the themes they do only pink and purple products which i think is really cute for female stylists if you don't like pink most of the time you like purple or vice versa so i love the brand i just <laughs> didn't get anything from them today outside of checking them out i did grab some hair but i plan on doing my hair in this vlog so we'll talk more about that hair in the portion of the vlog where i do my hair um other than that i got a small shining gem um the big ones they were sold out of but i already have a big one it's like maybe a third of the way gone i still have about two thirds of that jar left and that y'all I'm a crazy person. I'm that crazy braider in every store run. I have to get new combs. So I got like some springy pastel colors um, for spring season. A bunch of nail glues. When I checked out all of my bookings, I don't have anybody coming to get um, faux locks other than one client who has faux locks in. She's just getting her front touched up. So I got um, three bottles of those um, because right now, like I said, I don't have a lot of people booked for those. But when they do come... I just went ahead and grabbed them. I got these little um, oil scents for my oil diffuser in my bathroom. I got the biotin one because a few of my clients have been complaining about their edges or like hair growth. Biotin, you know, is the goat for growing hair. So I got two of those. And then I got this aloe vera gel. It is um, like a soothing gel. It just does wonders for my skin. So I love this one. I don't know the brand. It don't have a brand on it. Oh, yes, it do. It says... So cool, S O Q U. Um, but I love it because it's shaped like an aloe vera plant. It has the little spikes on it and everything, and it smells just like it. It soothes my skin. So, this is literally it. Besides the hair, the wig cap, and the glue, all of that is in a separate bag. And y'all will see that later in the vlog. This stuff, the oil I showed y'all that I took to my bathroom already, and that's that. put all of my stuff away that I got from Beauty Master and now I'm just about to pack a lunch. I ain't going nowhere but to my living room but as of right now it's 3 30. My client comes at 4. I don't have an appetite at all. Um, I think it's mainly because five nights out of, the, out of the week I work overnight so I'm normally munching and eating through the night and then I get home around 7 30 sleep till about 12 31 and then I normally take my um, first client at 2 normally one of my goals for this vlog was to show you how I eat in a day as a braider, just being on the go, what snacks I eat, what meals I eat in between styles, whether I'm traveling, whether I'm eating at home, um, realistically, like just how it goes down. Today, I'm trying to do the right thing. So while I was out, I didn't vlog that part, but I did stop by Kroger and I got some pistachios. I'm not a big nut eater, but I will eat pistachios and regular peanuts, like boiled peanuts. Um, I don't like cashews, I don't like pecans, pecans, I haven't said, I don't like almonds, like, don't give me none of that stuff. Uh, but I will eat me some pistachios. So this container I got from my friend Kay, she is my favorite lifestyle blogger. Um, she has a lot of good content on her channel about kitchen storage, like her refrigerator is very organized. Um, just her whole aesthetic on her channel is really good. She bought me this at her last appointment, and I love Even though I um, do hair from home, it's still really convenient because I can pack up my snacks and take them over where I am. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Just put my peanuts in here. 
And then I'm about, I'm about to peel two tangerines and put them in here as well because, like I say, I'm not hungry now, but my body is just set up to where the moment I start working and get a braid in my hand, my stomach growls. I don't know what that's about. So my nuts are in here. I peeled two cutie tangerines. And this is what I'll be munching on for the next two hours. And I just have a Gatorade. This is the Gatorade Frost, and it's the Glacier Cherry flavor. And this, the cherry one, is better when it's cold. So I'm going to put this in the freezer, and I just wanted to show y'all my first meal of the day at 3.30 p.m. It is now the following day and I'm supposed to be showing you guys everything I eat in between appointments. So I'm showing you me grabbing lunch before heading to a client's house. Okay, on the left we got cream cheese, um, crab wonton. So basically it's crab meat and cream cheese. If you know, you know. If you don't know, definitely try them out next time you get some Chinese or Asian food. They're so good. It's like deep fried crab meat with cream cheese, like I said. Then they give you like this... Um, little sweet and sour sauce that you can dip them in then over here y'all i got jumbo shrimp and like a vegetable medley combination it's kind of like a stir fry with soy sauce fried rice and a spring roll i made it to my client Jalen's appointment it was a travel appointment Jalen ordered some really bomb hair off of amazon i really enjoyed working with this hair so i'm gonna link it down below she got some traditional box braids but we added beads on the end it turned out really really cute It's a new day and today I'm trying the Captain Crunch cereal for breakfast. I didn't vlog my second appointment yesterday after Jalen. She didn't want to be on camera so I jumped straight into the next day and I'm doing my client Soraya's hair. She's getting long medium braids. Just traditional box braids but really long. This is still one of my trending services so I enjoy doing these a lot. My next client comes in 10 minutes. I had that big bowl of cereal this morning and I'm still not that hungry after four hours. So I'm just gonna have a bag of red sticks and then later I'll probably cook dinner. Now I'm doing a prom slave for my little cousin Mimi. She brought me Starbucks, which she has done before. And I don't drink coffee, but whatever combination she comes up with, I always enjoy. She got a traditional middle part sew-in with leave out. I just threw in some wand curls for her to pin up later. And she went to prom the following day. Turned out really nice. So here's that. It's now the following day, and this is where I start forgetting to show you guys what I eat. But I did a goddess lock appointment. She just got her locks touched up after a few weeks. And then following her appointment, I did starter locks. Hey y'all, I know I look crazy, but in a few minutes I'm gonna look totally different. I'm gonna speed, speed up the clips, roll it out real fast for y'all, so I ain't gonna look like this for too long. Trust the process. 
um, this lump up here. Don't mind that either. I had to part out a section because I'm doing like a half up, half down style. I've done this style several times before. I personally always love it. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite quick weave styles on myself. It's pretty much just like a push back ponytail to ponytail. It's going to be like push back off my face. It's going to fall down. And then I'm going to have like a little blunt bob right here. Hey y'all, I'm in the car about to head to the hair store. Y'all know, my second home. Um, I gotta get some more stuff, y'all. I don't know how long I've been filming this vlog now, probably like a week and a half, but since I first started this vlog, I have ran out of stuff and I need to go back to Beauty Master. I also wanna check out another hair store that is a new build. I've been waiting on this hair store all year. They've been working on it since the beginning of the year. Um, and it's a bigger store over here by me. I'm not gonna say it's bigger than Beauty Master, but it's neck and neck. It used to be a furniture warehouse and they turned it into a beauty supply store. So it's finally open and I wanna check them out. So there will most likely um, be a second, I know for sure, 100%, there will be a second um, hair store haul in this vlog, which I'm not mad at because the first haul I showed y'all was real skimp. I probably showed y'all maybe 16, so. I'm about to restock on some stuff. As far as the new hairstyle, I'm loving the style. I told y'all I always love these little half up, half down styles. The main thing that's gonna get me about this style is this cheap ass hair, okay? Um, I'm about an hour in. It's been about an hour since I did my hair. And you know, like as a stylist, you just know textures. You know when you got some cheap mess in your hands. Um, but I'm loving it so far. If you want a cheap look for under $50, this hair, to, for the hair alone, I spent 20. Then the glue was about $4.99. The wig cap was about a dollar. All together with taxes, probably close to $40, maybe 35. Um, so a hairstyle under $40, that took me under two hours. I, it took me like an hour and a half to do my hair. And the main thing was just getting my hair straight because I'm natural. Um, uh, buy the Organic Care. I forgot, I lost my train of thought, but purchase the Organic Care and get you a little half up, half down style going. This store carries a brand called Sanitex. It's supposed to be this antibacterial braiding hair that already comes pre-cleansed, so you don't have to worry about itching. I might have to try this out, y'all. This whole aisle is Sanitex. Okay, so clearly this store stands Style Factor Edge Booster. They have so many of their products, literally from ceiling to floor, nothing but Edge Booster stuff, and they're still filling the counters. But check this out, y'all. 
the shelves are full of the edge booster braid and wax edge control stuff whatever but i did not know that edge booster also sells a foam mousse like for braids so we're gonna try this out different ones do different things the pink one says extra shine and moisture all of them say that oh it's the biotin the pink one is biotin i had to figure out the differences um the white one is coconut water and the blue one is shea butter and jamaican black castor oil which is also good for hair growth check these prices out though twelve dollars for foam but we're gonna try it out my thing is which one am i gonna get because i'm only getting one twelve dollars for some mousse please i think i'm gonna try the pink one with biotin so i told y'all earlier my um clients have been asking about how to grow their hair the jamaican one mm, i'm gonna take the pink okay this store got all the style factor stuff this is a holding spray fitting spray which is kind of like spritz because it's on the eye with the pump it up or on the shelf with the pump it up these companies are spoiling the braiders this year i'm seeing so many different products for us products and tools here go the crocodile hair clips but what i won't do is pay eight dollars for six clips mm -mm. they also carry the btl products this poppy and ivy brand is great for hot oil treatments i like the jamaican black castor oil one but they have a lot they have keratin if you're like a straight natural but who knew btl sells tools as well so they have braider products and braider tools i want to take this purple one home and there go the pink and purple okay btl I just brought combs earlier in this vlog so don't judge me but they're two for a dollar like how could I not so of course I'm drawn to the glittery ones but I'm gonna get the precision combs because they're better for braiding How cute these earrings are this store is adorable hey y'all i'm back on camera after several hours i ended up going to a few stores after i vlogged in the hair store and there were clothing stores i did a little spring spending uh and got some spring clothes like some tops and stuff i'll probably show y'all a haul on that stuff in another vlog since it's like not business related i'll do a separate like week in the life vlog and show y'all some of the things i've been buying wardrobe wise now that the weather is getting a little warmer um but i did want to show y'all the things that i got out of cnc because i was vlogging in the store but i don't think y'all know exactly what i took home the first thing that i got was the shining gem i told y'all earlier in the vlog when i got that little container that beauty master was sold out of this size and i like to go ahead and get a couple of these when i'm in the store because i don't like to keep having to go back don't get me wrong i love the hair store but having to go spend reckless money when I can just get things done in one trip, especially something like this that I know I'm going to need every day, I just go ahead and like to knock it out and get two or three big containers at a time. So now I don't have to worry about this particular item for maybe a month. That was $20 right there on that. I spent a total of $40 something in there, $49. $50 maybe 20 of that went to this but I'm not mad at it y'all honestly when you get the smaller containers you may feel like you're saving money in in that moment oh five dollars on a small container how I did earlier in the vlog but after a few days having to go back to the hair store spending the money again you might as well just save yourself the time and the money and get that they also this particular store had shine and gem for edges um i do have the shine and gem for edges that i've shown y'all in other vlogs but i've never seen this particular one um and it says it's made with shea butter and it has a firm hold and beautiful shine and this is just to do the baby hairs with so we braid with this baby hairs with this i've showed y'all the shine and gem edge control before so i'm not gonna go through my whole collection but this is the newest one that they've come out with why is it hair on me and i knew it felt like i don't know if the product just ran that way or they barely filled the container but i knew this felt like unusually light i'm like 
Y'all, did they, did somebody scoop their hand in, I don't know. I think that it was just warm, maybe, in the warehouse, and it kind of just, I, I don't know. But this is edge control, y'all. Shining gem for edges. I also got another edge stick, y'all. I really didn't need it. I'm pretty much good on these, but it was purple and it was leopard. Love purple, love leopard. Had to have it. I told y'all in the store I was going to get these. I got a total of four. Two pink glittery ones and two gold glittery ones. Those are called precision combs, by the way. I got a bunch of lip gloss. Where is the rest of my lip gloss? This brand is called Broadway Brand. I got the honey, mango butter, and I got a rose water one somewhere in this bag. I also told y'all in the store I was going to try this Edge Booster Foam by Style Factor. And it's made with biotin. Um, so it's good for hair growth. Cannot wait to use this. Um, a $12 product, y'all. So I'm going to let y'all know if it's worth the money or not. We'll see. Stay tuned for my next vlog, braider vlog. And I'll let y'all know if it works. If it does, then I could see myself um, paying good money for a good foam. Foam really does count. It really does make the style pop once you're done. They had scrunchies. So I got two shades of purple and two shades of pink just to add to my collection. Y'all know I'm a nutcase when it comes to scrunchies. I got some beads. Um, because lately my clients haven't been asking for a whole lot of hair accessories. But I do know that it's spring break season, vacation season. It's getting warmer. A lot of people are taking trips, going out of the country. And if not any other time of the year, like my everyday clients who wear braids for work and stuff, they don't normally care to accessorize their braids. But when they travel, they they will act. So I got a couple things just to add to my um, collection of accessories in case anyone asks for a little razzle dazzle. I have it, and all of that stuff together, y'all ended up being forty nine dollars. It wasn't a whole lot of stuff. Now that I'm looking at it, I probably got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items, and then the four combs and lip gloss for fifty dollars. But twenty right here. This was 12 so $35 when you round that off for add taxes on that. And then all of this stuff was about a dollar each or 99 cent each, but I'm happy about what I got. But other than that, y'all, that is the vlog. That is the haul. I hope you guys enjoy. It was a little chaotic. I hope when I edit, it doesn't seem as chaotic. I can kind of filter out the BS, but... I had a lot of random stuff going on this week in the midst of trying to work and get this vlog out to you guys. So hopefully it's not too late. Y'all haven't been waiting too long on a video. And again, I hope you enjoyed it. I love y'all and see you in the next upload.